Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So on June the 20th, 21st, we are going to experience June solstice. Now, those of us on the Northern Hemisphere, like myself, we've got summer rolling in and the longest day of the year. Those of us that are on the Southern Hemisphere, we've got winter rolling in and the shortest day of the year. This is a beautiful shift and change in the cycle of nature. This is what we're experiencing. And I can tie this energy to the wheel of fortune, everyone. So this is what we are all feeling energetically is the Wheel of Fortune card. Seasons are changing and these bring subtle changes into our own lives. So what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an animal spirit card, okay? Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the messages from Spirits of Nature Oracle. Then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you today. So I might not understand these, okay? So I want you to to place them wherever they resonate for you. Then we're going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Gemini, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this June solstice energy. So we are getting for you, everyone, giraffe. Look at this. Have any of you seen a giraffe? This is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. And perhaps you might see one somewhere soon. So the message is trust in your ability to see things from a higher perspective and navigate life with foresight. Again, Trust in your ability to see things from a higher perspective and navigate life with foresight. So they're wanting you to look at the bigger picture, look further ahead a little bit. All right, so giraffe spirit here to start. Um, you're going to see things. I'm seeing a lot of magic sparkles coming in. So pay attention to the magic in your life at this time. And when we experience magic, it's usually in the present moment. So we are getting eight of pentacles. Look at this, a lot of power, a lot of energy that you're putting out there and seeing a return in. So right now, spirit is asking you to get to work, Gemini. It's time for you to put that energy out there. So the eight of pentacles to start. We also have the seven of pentacles. Look at this. There's a focus on your material world in your physical reality here and I do feel for some of you as you're working hard there are some adjustments you need to make so this is where you stop for a moment review and check everything that you're doing pay attention to details and make necessary adjustments as you move along your path the number seven is a spiritual number so I do feel there's something spiritually happening for you here as well so I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages, okay? And we have the 10 of Pentacles. Look at this very grounded energy here for you today, Gemini. There's a dream, there's a vision, and this is where you're headed. What does the 10 of Pentacles look like for you in your mind, in your imagination? I really want you to focus on this because if you're able to visualize it, experience it, feel it, sense it in your mind, it already exists. And what you're doing now is connecting to that timeline, that energy, and you're drawing it into your life. So there's this connection happening with you and that future version of yourself, okay? So the 10 of Pentacles here. Now pay attention to the numbers seven, eight, and 10 in your life. I do feel these are confirmations for you around this reading today. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your rising and your moon signs. 
All right, Gemini, look at this. I just love this for you. So I'm seeing a lot of you putting in a lot of hard work. Um, your energy, it's an exchange with the universe right now. You understand this, Gemini, so you know what it is that you need to do in order to create uh, whatever it is that you're trying to create. Perhaps this is a lifestyle. Perhaps this is a dream. Maybe you're trying to reach a goal and putting energy into reaching that goal. And as you're doing this, you're going to see a lot of results. You're going to see a lot of success, a lot of expansion in your life. I'm seeing a lot of um, forms of income. I'm seeing that in your physical reality here, Gemini, you're able to uh, create this. Um, it's, it's like money. You are able to draw in money and, and things to your life. Physical material things like maybe some of you have just recently... Uh, put together enough money to buy a car or something that you have been desiring for a long time. Maybe this is you saving money for a house. You're working really hard. This card is actually reminding me of myself at the time before I started my YouTube channel where I was uh, putting a lot of energy into saving money because I wanted to start uh, my own business where I wanted to take six months off of work. So I was working my nine to five, but I was also working a side hustle accumulating some wealth. I was putting a lot of extra energy in. So this is letting me know that there is some extra energy that you're putting out there, Gemini, and you're going to see the results, um, the fruits of your labor here. Now, this is also a card of mastery. So this is where spirit is really wanting you to master something this year. We're in the year number eight. You have an eight number in your reading today. So what is it that you can master this year? Um, mastering our fears. That's one thing that we can work on. This is where spirit is really taking, asking you to take an active role in your life, to be an active participant in this exchange with the universe. Those of us that are in a position right now where we feel like we have been working really hard, but we're not seeing the results. This is where adjustments need to be um, made here, because if something isn't working, let's try something different. Right. If you're someone that's been doing the exact same thing over and over again, getting the same results, that is a sign that you're in a pattern that needs to be broken. So this is where we stop and reflect, stop and review, take a look to see where those adjustments need, need to be made. I'm getting criticism coming in from other people. So sometimes with criticism, we can take it the wrong way or we can get, you know, uh, offensive and defensive around it. But I feel sometimes uh, when we're open to criticism, it actually helps. And it's not that someone is, and sometimes people try to belittle you with their criticism, but I feel that it's up to us to choose to take it as an attack on us, right? So choose to take it as constructive criticism and be open to some of the suggestions that people might have for you. This is coming through the Seven of Pentacles today. I do feel a lot of you are looking ahead at your future on how you can create this sturdy foundation, this place where your life is full of prosperity and abundance, whatever that means to you, whatever prosperity and abundance means to you. This is your happy place. This is your dream place. I'm seeing a house here. Okay, so I feel some of you may have a dream to own a home. Perhaps you have a dream to live somewhere outside of the country that you're in, in a home somewhere. Um, this is also financial security for some of you, right? The worries around your finances that are going to be lifted. So you're going to see a lot of shifts happening around money. And it's the energy that you're putting out, out there in the world that's creating this change around money. Remember that money is only energy. And this energy of money follows us when we're in that energy of love, in that energy of harmony, in that energy of positivity, right? It follows along with that. So um, those of you that are in a position, I'm going to just use this as an example. If you're not happy where you work right now and you're constantly in this lower vibrational energy, feeling sorry for your health, help, for yourself, um, you know, saying negative things to yourself, hating your job, coming home, wanting to do something different, but not making those changes, then you're going to see the same thing happening to you. But I feel that um, the moment that you're able to either cultivate the love around that, um, accepting where you are and making the best out of it while you look for other options to make those adjustments to find something better for you that is more in alignment with you. And when you're finally experiencing like, you know what, I actually had a good day today. I had really good experiences. I chose not to let things get to me today. This is where you're going to see the most results in your life, Gemini. Okay. Um, I have in my life 
had a lot of negative experiences growing up, especially in my 20s and my 30s, right? But I always thought, I always looked at the best of it. I always had hope. And it's something that I learned from my childhood through my mom, right? And that's always helped me growing up. And it's helped me as an adult as well. And I feel that I've had to make a lot of adjustments and things, but I knew that I had to and so I did. So this card is letting you know it's time for you to start making adjustments. Sometimes those adjustments don't feel comfortable. And for me, anytime I started a new job, moved to a new area, started something new, I give myself three months because I know I'm going to be uncomfortable. I know this about myself. I'm like, okay, I gotta give myself three months. Once I get over it, it'll all be okay, but I'm gonna get through this next three months. So give yourself some time to adjust to things that are changing in your life and not to kind of uh, run away from them. I don't know why I'm getting someone running away from it. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling like this energy, new energy coming in and being afraid of it because it's the unknown. And they want you to look at things through a different perspective. Look at it through maybe a higher angle, maybe from the right side or left side or maybe below it. Uh, different perspectives here just to get a better idea and understanding of the bigger picture around some of the changes that are coming in, some of the things that you're implementing in your life, okay? And spiritually, you're growing here. This is an opportunity for you to really ascend, to, re to move up to a higher frequency, a higher vibration. This is ultimately what's happening here because you're connecting. And whenever we experience this uh, ascension, this moving up in vibration and energy, we see things parting from our lives. And sometimes we need to do that parting ourselves. So it's all about looking at our life to see what is working for us, keeping those things looking at the things that aren't working for us, releasing ourselves from them and replacing them with other things just to try and see where it might take us or just kind of going with what is working for us for a little bit just to see where that takes us, right? So take a look at your life right now, Gemini, to see where you're at in life. What is it that you're doing right now? Where can you make changes that you know you can make changes and do better at? Uh, for me right now, I know I can do better with exercising, right? And even with... Um, my eating habits, I still am eating gummy bears, everyone. I'm still eating chips, but it's not all the time. It's once in a while. And I've toned it right down. And now I'm trying to completely get rid of it. And it's hard to do, right? So I'm trying to make these necessary adjustments. I know what it is that I have to do. I'm working on it. But I'm seeing a lot of improvements, especially with my body physically. Like I'm exercising. I've just joined calisthenics. I've talked about this. But it's all about using discipline here as well and staying in that rhythm, that consistency, right? I put myself into a system which works for me, right? I have a morning ritual. I film during the day, um, do thumbnails, some editing. My husband is also working with me. So my husband and I are both uh, the faces behind Sacred Knowledge Tarot, right? Um, after filming, we have a lot of work to do after the fact as well. And we're also um, putting together an ebook that's coming out soon. So there's a lot of energy that we're putting out there and we're making the necessary adjustments to see what works and what doesn't work. We're dabbling with new things just to see where that might take us. So we're opening ourselves up to different ways of doing things just to see what happens with that, right? So this is what spirit is wanting you to embrace in your life as well. If there are things that aren't working and you're looking for changes in your life, Gemini, maybe take a look at the things that you're doing in your daily life, your daily habits, right? And where can you make some changes? Maybe even little ones, just teeny tiny ones that can make a, a world of difference, right? Um, you're connected here as well. That's the other thing Spirit is saying here. There's some connection happening. I don't know if any of you are seeing orbs, lights, angels are around you and they're uh, wanting you to know that they're around you. So some of you might be experiencing synchronicities, um, hearing voices, angels voices, seeing them in your dreams, seeing angel images around you as well, spirit guides. Um, things that are happening that don't make sense for you, Gemini. We got the 10 of Pentacles. So this is such a beautiful energy here. And I'm just getting this loving relationship, a family. Some of you are desiring a family. Maybe you're wanting to create a family. You're looking for love. Uh, perhaps you're wanting to expand on that family and have a child enter your life. So there's this growth and expansion happening within that family unit, um, that security, that financial security and stability. So know that this is coming in. This is what you are creating. You're on the right track. You're exactly where you need to be right now as you're watching this reading today, Gemini. Okay. So those of you that have been asking that question, whether or not you're on the right path, this is your confirmation from spirit coming through me today that you are on the right 
right path. You're exactly where you're meant to be. From this moment on is where you make those adjustments. This is where you really review your life a little bit to see, okay, what is it that I actually want? What is this place for you? Can you see it? Uh, because if you can, you can now start to build a bridge towards it, right? And being open and receptive to what the universe is sending you because I feel they're sending you opportunities that might not be what you're expecting, but they're leading you towards this place. So even with my own life, I go back and look at it and I've got all these twists and turns, things that I didn't even imagine I would go through to get to this place right now, right? And I have no idea what's going to happen in the future, but I'm open, I'm optimistic, and I'm very positive. I just feel there's so many good things that are going to happen. I've always been a positive person. I used to wear a shirt uh, when I was younger. It's don't worry, be happy. I know it has to do with that song, but I would never take it off. Man, my mom would get so mad at me. She's like, take that off, it's so dirty. I'm like, no, don't worry, be happy, right? So it's that kind of energy and perhaps you're playing that song in the background. Maybe you heard it recently. I'm getting this um, move happening for some of you. I don't know if any of you are moving, thinking about moving, maybe visualizing a future somewhere else with someone else, with someone. Um, but it's almost like a manifestation that is taking formation here. So I don't know if any of you have uh, done a ritual, done some sort of manifestation, um, practice, lit a candle, set an intention, um, change things in your life, added discipline to the mix here because through discipline is where you're going to see results. Through discipline is how you're going to get to this place. Create a system for yourself again is what spirit is saying. Gemini. So uh, have a system. Uh, you know, I have a calendar on my wall. I have one in my bathroom as well. And it just kind of gives me an idea about my day. And as long as I know what I have to do, I always get it done. I'm the type of person that will get it done. So it's done. It's just something I do. And then I have some time to do other things. Uh, my schedule is very, very busy. And I do feel for some of you, you have the busy schedules. And it's all about managing your time and really setting aside some time to work on things that you're passionate about because that passion is, I feel this passion is coming in in a big way here for you. Maybe you're wanting to do something that you're passionate about, something that makes your heart sing. Now's the time for you to start implementing bits and pieces of that into your life, in your daily life. Even if it's for a half hour, if it's for an hour, as long as you're doing it, because the more you do that, the more of that you're going to experience in your life. So again, if you're at a job right now that you're not enjoying, um, try to see if you can somehow make it work for you. If you feel you can't, it's now time to maybe think about applying to other places. Look at what it is that you want to, like where do you want to work, right? Do you want to work for yourself or do you want, want to work for someone else? You want to advance in your career because I'm seeing a lot of career advancement in this, in this card as well. I'm seeing more money coming in. So I'm seeing a higher wage, you making more money, clients, um, this is you really getting those roots in the ground and growing from that place. So you understand yourself, you understand your business, you know what it is that you need to get done to create what it is that you want. So there's an understanding and information coming in because you have that bigger picture. It's that giraffe energy. And because you have that bigger picture, you're able to plan properly, right? I'm seeing a blueprint here. So I don't know if any of you are architects. Uh, maybe you have a blueprint for your life. Um... They're saying that sometimes when we have a plan made, we're like sticking to the plan. We have things that come up where uh, we might not, um, it's like a do detour, where sometimes not everything needs to go according to plan. It's really good to have a plan, but be open and flexible when change does come in, take you in a different direction. Okay, so um, your dreams and your desires, you are manifesting them right now, uh, Gemini. Those of you that are visualizing a home, I'm seeing a home coming in. Planning to get your finances in order in order to buy a home, especially those of you that are wanting to buy a home and really getting a picture of it. Put yourself inside of a home that you visualize and feel it, walk around in it, touch the countertops, go through the bedroom doors. So my husband and I just recently went and saw a house because we're also house hunting. We're not in a big rush. We're just looking at the moment. But we actually went and saw a house to experience what it feels like to see these homes. We're getting the ball, um, getting everything in, in motion here. The ball starting to roll for us. So this is what Spirit wants you to do as well is to get the ball rolling around something that you're wanting to create in your life. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
pull a bonus card from the messages from the spirits of nature oracle i'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook so anything more that spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card today all right so see what it is that spirit would like you to hear today so we are getting butterfly regeneration here. Gemini, look at this. You are going through a regeneration. If you're seeing a butterfly, this is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now and you're going to see one. So butterfly, we have the number three on this card. Uh, this could be a number of significance for some of you. Perhaps you were born on the third. A uh, number three can be a lucky number or life path number three. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting three days, three weeks, three months and three hours. So butterflies begin life as one form and ended up as another. Transformation and regeneration are their biological destiny. Not only are butterflies astoundingly beautiful, but they are also served to bring a message of rebirth, change, and a promise of better day. When they appear after a loved one has passed, they are considered to be a messenger from that loved one, everyone. So remember that. The process of transformation brings Sorry, the process of transformation begins with the caterpillar ravenously consuming as much as, as, much, much as it can, uh, then encasing itself in a cocoon. Within the chrysalis, the body of the caterpillar dissolves into a mushy goo until certain previous dormant imagine, uh, imaginal cells that contain the blueprints for the structure. I'm going to read this part again. All right, so butterfly, everyone. Butterflies begin life as one form and ended up as another. Transformation and regeneration are their biological destiny. Not only are butterflies astoundingly beautiful, but they also serve to bring a message of rebirth, change, and also serve to bring a message of re... Sorry, I'm going to read this one more time. All right, so the message here is butterflies begin life as one form and end up as another. Transformation and regeneration are their biological destiny. Not only are butterflies astoundingly beautiful, but they also serve to bring a message of rebirth, change, and a promise of a better day. When they appear after a loved one has passed, they are considered to be a messenger from that loved one. So remember that everyone. The process of transformation begins with the caterpillar ravenously consuming as much as it can, then encasing itself in a cocoon. Within the chrysalis, the body of the caterpillar dissolves into a mushy goo until certain previous dormant imaginal cells that contain the blueprint from the structure of the butterfly are activated. As the cells are activated a distinctly different physical being is generated even through the dna is a, even though the dna is exactly the same for both the butterfly's emergence from the chrysalis portends its essential contribution to the ecology of the planet and a crucial pollinator while also bringing joy and wonder to any observer so the message here for you today is life was moving along for you in a relatively steady and predictable way until certain events plunge you into a chaotic cycle from which you are now gradually emerging you've had to face a number of challenges and have been feeling overwhelmed questioning all you have come to know, turning inward for answers that don't always come. And this is an inward card, right? And that's seven. You may not be aware of it, but this period has served as a gestation period for a major transformation, one where a new you is being generated. Although your DNA remains the same, there is a restructuring happening epigenetically, similar to the imaginal cells that are activated in the butterfly's transformation. Even your physical appearance is noticeably changing along with the way you carry yourself. You may have an urge to wear brighter, more colorful clothing. You're being called to explore different fun and creative activities and deepen your spiritual practice and beliefs. Enjoy this period of regeneration as you discover parts of yourself that have previously remained hidden. As this new you continues to emerge, allow yourself to explore whatever you're drawn to with courage and a sense of adventure. So look at that. Butterfly spirit regeneration is happening here for some of you. All right, I'm now going to pull three personal messages for you. So feel free to pause this video, take a moment, take a deep breath, open yourself up to spirit to these messages coming in. Uh, I might not understand these messages today, Gemini, so I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you, okay? So we've got a card jumping out here. All right, so we're going to start with this. 
We have don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures. Don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures. Next card. It will all make sense to you soon. It will all make sense to you soon. All right. And it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue the life you're destined to lead. Leave the past behind. So once again, it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue the life you're destined to lead. Leave the past behind. All right, so let's pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching, if you're seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Gemini, meeting destiny. Look at this. You are meeting your destiny here. 1818, if you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is your confirmation today. Uh, those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 18 days, 18 weeks, 18 hours, and the 18th of the month. So they're wanting you to continue on your mission here. So you are on a mission. You're already on the right path. There's some minor adjustments need to be made here. Um, this could have to do with something uh, around your marriage, a twin flame. There's a working together for the good vibe, this energy around, and there's triumph. You're going to experience a lot of success, which is showing up here in the Ten of Pentacles, triumph, okay? So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.